What I'd like to show you in this short video attached to Affinity Publisher videos is how you can quickly produce a paperback, especially in the low content publication section, how you can quickly produce a paperback on KDP. Now you can see up here I've got some PDF files ready to go and the ones with the tick on I've already done. So now we're going to do the treble barred by two for a class use one. So let's go back here. But these are already prepared interiors. So let's go to the paperback. Click on paperback and give it a title. Music manuscript and a subtitle. Fairly long winded in this case. T R E B L E treble barred by two for class use. Because this particular low content book, which is sheets of music sheets, will be it's specifically designed for class use. It's not a series, it's not an edition number, and the author is moi. Oops, learned to spell my own name, you'd think by now. Now, there's no other contributors. If you have other contributors, somebody doing your artwork for you, then put them in. Now, the description, I'm purposely keeping the description very short here, because you can come back and change this. And as you can see from the list of PDF files there, now I've got Grammarly running, and that tells me fixes there. That one there, I'll dismiss that because that's the way I want it to read. So, it's grammatically correct. It's a short description. Now, next one, publishing rights. I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. Now, keywords. You can labour over this for days, or you can type some in. Manuscript, music sheets, guitar, ukulele, B A double S, C L E double F, clef, bass and clef, and stave, S T A V E. Now they're the only keywords I need, you can come back and change them as you begin to fiddle with these. For now, I'm getting the system, I'm getting it all in place. Now, you have to choose two categories, it won't let you proceed unless you do. It's non-fiction, A, B, C, D, F, H, I, J, K, L, and it's definitely in the music category. Uh, for want of a better place to put it, I'll put it there, an individual composer and musician. Now the good thing about these books is that they're actually booklets, not loose sheets of paper that fly around um, your room. Now there's definitely no adult content in here. If you say yes, oh you bump into all sorts of things. Don't have adult content. It just makes your life a misery when you're trying to print stuff, especially with KDP. They're very conscious of it. Now you want a free KDP ISBN. We're not going to distribute this book in shops and places like that on the high street, assign the ISBN, and there we go. Makes life easy. You don't have to go and spend a fortune for your own ISBN. Publication date. When you go live, that'll be the publication date. Now, I want a different size. You can't default to this. You just have to select it each time. 8.5 by 11 is the size of my interior pages, so that's what I want. And I definitely want bleed. PDF only. These pages are set up with bleed. And because they're uploading in PDF, Kindle actually does require bleed for PDF uploads. I don't want glossy paper. The cover, I want a matte finish paper. Glossy paper on your cover, you have to be careful of because what it will do is bow upwards. Have you ever seen those books where the front cover is sort of curled right over on itself? That's usually glossy paper. So don't fall into the trap of having all your books with curly front pages, but curly covers. Now, 
upload the paperback manuscript. Easy. Click, and the one I want is the Treble Bard 2 for class use PDF. Don't upload the wrong one. KDP won't know the difference and will happily print it. Except when it comes to looking at the cover title, it won't match the interior title, and that's when they'll shoot it back to you and say, you got it wrong. Now, let's just sit that there for a moment. You think, oh, nothing's happened. Oh, oh, what will I do? No, it's all right. Just give it a moment because you're on the internet. Unless you happen to be just down the road from KDP if you're somewhere else in the world, and I'm actually in the UK. This will take a moment. And there it comes. The manuscript has loaded and it's processing your file. Now what I like to do is let just leave it sit there for a minute or two while it processes that file. As soon as it's finished processing, I'll come back to you. There we go. Now that didn't take long and you can see manuscript uploaded successfully and it's got a tick which means it's processed. Now don't go to the bother of creating all sorts of covers. You can if you like. If you want to upload your own cover, make sure it's PDF. Use one of the KDP templates. They're very easy to do and for these particular books I want them all looking the same so it's really easy to use the KDP Cover Creator. So I'll launch the Cover Creator. And there we go. I'm going to use from their own image gallery, arts and entertainment, and music. What better theme for a music manuscript book? And that's the image I want because it's the same image I've used on all the other ones. So people will see that they're a set. Now there's what it looks like. I'm going to use that one there. Not one of the other three. You get quite a choice there. I'm going to use that one. Choose this design. Now note that your book is 34 pages. It must be at least 100 pages to fit spine text. That's if you want a spine on it with text on it. Then create a book with 100 pages plus. I don't worry about a spine. This is a notebook really. I mean this is for music. Oops, now look at that already, you see? Look, I've misspelt my name. Start over. Are you sure you want to start over? Okay. Now we go back there. We go back there. Now, oddly enough, everything is still there, you see? Same size. Go back to paperback details because down here I've spelt it R Nobbit. <laughs> okay, it should be Robert Chalmers. And everything else is still there. You haven't lost everything. Save and continue. It's always a <coughs> excuse me. It's always good advice when you when you're finished with a page. There's our content, just check, 8.5 by 11, bleed, PDF, uh, uh, uploaded successfully. Always save as a draft when you get to the end of a page. Now let's launch the cover viewer again. Cover creator, and here we go. So you can go right back to the start, and everything works the same. Arts and entertainment, music. How easy is this? I mean, seriously. What have I done with my image? There it is. Use this image. Choose this design. Now, narrow spine. Now look at that. Jeez, it's still wrong. Okay, so let's correct it. Probably could have done that in the first place, but I had to go back because it takes that from the book. Music, M-A-N-U-S-C-R-O-P-T, treble barred by two for class use. Now, I don't want that there, so I just click on it and get rid of it. That there, the text in there, I've already got that 
made up and that's the same as the description so I just copy and paste it into there go back to there now this I'm going to put in my own little logo from my computer and there it is there it uploads it now you can see it's chopped off on the top and bottom so what I want to do is bring that into there that's looking good perfect circle Robert Chalmers there's their barcode area I'll just save that and preview it there we go it's updating the image updating the whole process a lot of these things can take a little while some are fairly quick this one's being a little bit slower today there we go building your cover this may take a minute it usually is only a minute or two now there's my name correctly spelt music manuscript treble barred by two for class use the back covers okay now the description because these are low content books if you're a musician okay you know all that stuff so the description is not really in this case terribly important but like all of your books on KDP if you want to change it at a later date even after it's been published except for the title you can go back and change all that keywords description anything you like now save and submit well If you intentionally change your title, author name or subtitle, you'll need to also make these changes on the KDP book de details. Well, I did that. See, it's picking up the fact that I changed Robert, but it hasn't yet picked up the fact that I changed back on the book details. I wonder if I should check that. You see, there we go paperback content is checked there everything once it's finished processing it comes back to there cover uploaded successfully now what I want to do is just go back to there make sure that my author name Robert Chalmers yes that's the bit it was falling over you see so I'll go back to paperback content. Everything is the same there. And it's still processing the cover file. What I'll do is leave it for a moment to process the cover file. And it's processing the manuscript file again. So I'll just wait for that to, to happen. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, everything's done. That took... I paused the video that took about three to four minutes for it all to come back so now that that's successful the launch covers uploaded successfully save as a draft let's save as a draft always a good plan just takes a moment save successful now launch the previewer saving again now here's the previewer don't try and bypass this step otherwise you'll end up with things like mm -hmm, misspelt names misspelt titles and from here you can go back and change anything you like 34 pages no spine let's just move that over there now Instead of just exit print previewer, which will take you back to the main um, changeable pages where you can change anything you like, I'm happy with that, so let's just approve it. You can even download a PDF, which I could have done there. So, paperback content, cover successful, there's the price. Your printing costs, that's how much it costs to print these things. Okay, now save and continue.
Save successful. And we're continued to the final page, rights and privacy. All territories. Yep, that's gonna it's gonna go worldwide. Now the primary marketplace, it'll depend on where you are. There's quite a few, but for these purposes, my primary market is the UK. And that puts pound signs in here, and I've fixed on a price of five pounds and thirty p. It automatically changes it straight away. Now that's seven dollars fifty US, which is a good price for low content publications like these. It also of course gives you the price in all the other countries in their various various formats and it gives you the royalty you can expect. If you go for expanded distribution, large book distributors can make your title available in other online retailers, libraries, universities and booksellers beyond Amazon. Enrollment is subject to elig eligibility requirements. And I think you'll find from memory that the, the short and sharp edge of that is if you want expanded distribution, you've got to have your own ISBN number in there. If you use Amazon's KDP's number, then you won't get that. But I'm not worried about that. Who needs to have your book distributed everywhere? The cost of a of an ISBN just for a book like this, because every single one of those would need its own ISBN. That's going to cost you a fortune. Okay, by clicking publish, I confirm I agree and am in compliance with the terms and conditions. You can request printed proofs of this book once it's been approved and gone live. And otherwise, we're now done. Publish your paperback book. It's saving it, and it will very soon pop up with that. There's your book, £5.30p. Now we'll review your book, pass the reviewers. It can take up to 72 hours, and the rest. It can take quite a long time. And for, so for published books like these, low content books, it can often take even longer. Now, you're not worried about starting an ebook because what's the point in having an ebook that you've got to write in? Because you can't write in them. So you can just close that, and there you are back at your bookshelf. That's, that's your KDP bookshelf. There's all your books. Now, there's all the previous ones I've done, and they're all in review. You can see this, they're still in review, they've been there for a while. There's some of my books that have previously been done. That one's still in review. That one's live. And of course that's live. They're all live. And it tells you when they were submitted. April the 5th. Sudoku. April the 3rd. In a Mink Affair. Good story that. I recommend it. A collection of essays for Master of T-Soul, The Dragons of Sara Sara. That's an excellent story. If you into, if you like fantasy, you'll love that. I still read it. It's my own book and I still read it. It's a good yarn. Marriage in a Cold Climate, a short and dramatic little hmm, adventure romance, I guess you'd call it. The Girl of Kentwell Hall, um, a strange little story, very short story but very low priced. And further back we go. I was at one stage producing it chapter by chapter. There's a journal I was producing and five pip forex. Okay, so you don't need to know all that. Let's go back to the bookshelf. Last submitted, last modified May the 26th. There you go, I told you the modification. You can continue set up if you like. They're in review, but you can go and change them. And that's all there is to it. Yet another book successfully published on KDP. Well, in review. Um, give it five days, give it ten days. Sometimes it can take ages and you think, oh no, it's not going to happen. It will eventually, they'll get to it, and you'll either get a rejection and say, your cover's too big, your cover's ugly, it's got terrible language in it, change it, or 
you've misspelt your name. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay, thanks for watching.